Hey guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. My name is DeFree, and today we're checking out Nova. So I just want to say we're going to do some gameplay for Nova, but the gameplay you guys are going to see in this video was from a few weeks ago. I wanted to go ahead and re-record the intro part of this video where I talked about the abilities and things like that, uh, because now, uh, by the way, the costume on Nova is badass. He looks amazing. Um, uh, if you you could argue if it's worth it or not, but thankfully it wasn't too expensive because they put the the item on the cheaper offers. Anyway, <clears throat> so Nova is an interesting character for war, yes, but he's also going to potentially have a little bit more value with his awakened basic, potentially being a very strong. I don't want to say counter, but like pseudo counter or useful ability when it comes to being matched up against the upcoming Black Knight. So again, the video you guys are going to watch in the, in the later part of this video, the, the matches and stuff, just for context, the Red Goblin wasn't in the game, Gwenom wasn't, in fact, the the uh, Venom and Carnage didn't have their reworks live in the game yet, I believe. So, it's that old, and I did this a while ago. Anyway, also he was level 95, obviously. So let's break down the basics, and what makes this one so good? So on War Offense, clear all barrier on primary and adjacent targets. Ding, ding, ding. Removing barrier is obviously amazing. It's going to be really good with the upcoming team. Uh, on War Offense, if this character has applied the Nova Force this match, bonus attack the primary target. And then also, I believe it picked up another portion there on War Offense. Characters killed by that attack can't be killed, I believe, was added in. Uh, there might have been something else minor that was added in here, but definitely I think there was something else. Anyway, one thing that happens with this, by the way, that's really cool, is that I believe it triggers Nova to attack three times if there is a vulnerable, and he's a striker, obviously. So he does that extra hit a few times, and uh, the damage starts to really add up, and you guys are going to see that throughout this video. And also, I believe that means that Korg gets, what, three chances to revive at 50% chance each? So... That's really strong. So the special here on Nova, by the way, the priority I think is basic for sure now. Like I don't, I, I thought it was the special before. In fact, the special was the one that I did first, but definitely that. So on War Offense, clear all barrier on the primary and adjacent targets. On War Offense, if this character has applied the Nova Force this match, apply bleed to the primary and adjacent targets. So a strong effect here. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure it added in something else here, but I can't really see it. I'd have to pull up the website, which I'm not so sure I really want to do, uh, but the point is, is that the, these abilities are really strong on Nova. Where Nova is kind of screwed is because his buddies kind of suck, right? Thor is the only one that I think is... Actually, you know what? I can make an argument that Korg is the next best one because he just doesn't stay gone unless he's killed by a move that stops him from reviving. But he constantly comes back. But otherwise, it would be Thor, uh, where if you have a huge Thor, maybe he'll live. But they're so slow, things like that, and his buddies let him down. On War Offense, if this character has charged and two or more Nowhere allies, Cosmic Enemies cannot gain defense up. That is actually really strong if you're ever up against any sort of Cosmic Enemies. Um, now, this the, the entire thing with Nova was that because he has these general abilities where it's just War. It's not, it never calls out War Offense, really. So anytime it's an Offense call out, that was added in with these Awakened abilities for the Mirror Match. That's the point is they added those abilities in case there were people using Nowhere on defense that you could have a much easier time running over a defensive Nowhere. I don't have any of those to test against in today's video, but nonetheless, those abilities are really, really strong. But that basic in particular is one that I really, really recommend. Uh, the special is okay, but again, clearing barrier is solid. And then the passive here, you can make an argument that you want it or you don't. It's not the hugest deal. It just stops the defense up. And there are a number of really strong cosmic enemies you could potentially be versus. So it just kind of depends if they spawn with it or if they're getting it from their allies, things like that. So that is what you want to consider with uh, Nova there. So otherwise, you know, it was kind of interesting because most people were just kind of ignoring anything else other than Black Cat. Uh, and the only thing I even recommend doing with Black Cat is her passive. It's actually it. It got kind of bad doing her passive for a while because you would take those buffs off and then Super Scroll would, <clears throat> uh, the opponent Super Scroll would most likely go first because they're obviously not able to spawn with more stuff. But I found that in the current meta, having that passive is really strong, particularly if you run like the Drax offense or anything like that, because all of a sudden now with, with that passive, uh, you can rewind their team and things like that, whereas otherwise you wouldn't be able to. And uh, there are other reasons why, too, but it does make a really good difference. But the point is, everyone's awaiting every other ability, basically. You see, I've got 130 of these. I'm, I'm kind of just sitting, too. But if you're, again, just wanting to do one thing, I, I think the basic is the one. 
All right, let's hop into some gameplay. But before we do, quick word from today's video sponsors. So you guys have seen me in the past talking about Marvel Contest of Champions, and you guys can check it out via the link down below in the description. But I've personally been uh, playing it, and I have been enjoying the heck out of it. It is such a fun game to play, and uh, for you Marvel fans, it's totally different from Strike Force, but it is something I think that can help strike, uh, strike, excuse me, scratch that Marvel itch. We also have this awesome Deadpool that's golden. There are some other ones like Platinum and things like that, but nonetheless, check it out this game is awesome once again you can check it out via the link down below in the description i am by no means a pro at this game by the way look at this awesome uh spider-man supreme too this guy is an original character i believe for this game and he is amazing looking in fact i want to just kind of we're going to just take a few hits here so we can get our best skill off and finish it off in style he does have a regeneration going so i can keep hitting him a little bit i guess all right that's fine i'm not playing good at all by the way either we do have to actually play a little better here so I can actually kill him here. All right, let's go. Let's go, Spidey! So this is a very easy boss to fight, by the way. <laughs> you guys that play know exactly what this is. <laughs> I didn't even have to try at all for this. But that being said, once again, check out Marvel Contest of Champions today. So the team still is kind of crappy out. Like, it's, it's not kind. It's very crappy outside of war. And all the allies still completely just die, <laughs> aside from Nova, but Nova is stronger, and that's the point. So we're going to start off by checking out New Avengers as a matchup. Now, Sinister Six completely clears this team. Now, I will say it's kind of tricky with that Sinister Six team at the bottom showing. It's kind of tricky if you don't have a big Mysterio, because then they oftentimes, with the Thing Ultimate, go after uh, Octopus, which can be kind of tricky. But if you do have a big uh, Mysterio, he will be the target, and then he'll have immunity and stuff, so he, nothing happens. And the match is just super clean. So we're going to go in with uh, the Nowhere team. Now, this is the configuration I like to use, because just these guys die anyway, but this is probably the best setup. We're going to go for that. Uh, I think I might shift Korg to being a Skirmisher. Uh, he doesn't have the higher level on it. It's just kind of whatever. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, she's going after the Thor there. This match is still very RNG dependent, but since there's like 26 war rooms or whatever, well, attacks available between, you know, defense and offense anyway, uh, the war teams are always character teams that just last a really long time. Like the fact we're still using Infinity Watch, Weapon X, these teams in war is just awesome. So if you were to do this, I wouldn't blame you for it. Uh, or at least some of them, because it's not its not like you won't get value if you're a fan of the mode, right? Because you will. You will get value. All right. And we are going to get her out of here early. Goodbye. That's perfect. Yeah, you just want to get Tiger out early. I think right here we're going to go for Ronin. Okay, Cosmo is gone. Okay, and Ronin's got the dodges. All right, Nova Force time, baby. And that's when the team, when he, well, the team, when he him, himself, because he is the team, <laughs> really, uh, gets much better and more efficient, right? Okay, and the bonus hit. Korg is back, and he's going to die again. Oh, no, he's not. Nice. You know the best thing about having Korg? The best thing about having Korg is that there's another target for, like, those big hits. Like, the Ronin attack and stuff. Like, that's why you want Korg to be alive. <laughs> so, so Korg can just be, he'll taunt sometimes, too. Like, this hit right here. Thankfully, it's still kind of early and I had my charges, but that's why Korg is powerful because he just keeps coming back as a target. The bonus hit, the bonus hits there without needing a vulnerable are really good. Uh, do I just strip this and just take this? No, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it for next time. I don't mind hitting the basic. I just wish this summon would have spawned near them, right? It's on the complete opposite side. And Korg is going to come like right back here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Him reviving with blind, though, is really annoying. That's Ronin doing that, right? That's really annoying. Okay. Hit there, and goodbye to you. Yeah, not having a vulnerable and doing it like that is really strong. Okay. Oh, now we can just pop the Nova, or the, uh, what's his face? The, um, Ronin right there. So, like, this is kind of what I'm saying here. Like, now I'm going to win right here. I win. They're all dead. Maybe Mockingbird lives, but probably not. Okay, she does live. Okay, that's fine. 
I swear that the bonus attack does have a second chance to proc Korg revives because he keeps coming back every time. It's not a 50% chance. He keeps coming back. Maybe it's 250 chances. All right, and I've got another. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Let's run some other stuff. Let's see what we have. But yeah, that's kind of like the team still functions exactly the same, but it's just Nova is stronger, right? Some of the stuff wasn't even applied there. Like we didn't have a cosmic enemy. So um, we will check out for the next one. Oh, what is? Okay, okay, okay. I think we may lose this match. This one is a tricky one. This is one where I think I might, you, you might want to, I'm not going to do it, but I think you might want to uh, replace Star-Lord for like Dorm for this match. I haven't seen this team enough in this current, like literal configuration with the Captain America on here enough. I've only seen it like in one war, actually. It's a fairly new team, at least. Uh, and mm, Black Cat over here. No, what you do here is you do this. Yeah, you don't want to get locked behind her. There's other very tempting targets though, but you do not want to get blocked behind her. Okay. And he's not gonna flip anything on Nova, thankfully. All right, ooh, interesting. I think I'm just gonna stay on the Miss Marvel. Between the rebounds here, Miss Marvel should die. Ooh, and Cap's dying, nice. Great job, Thor. So the thing with Thor is that when he actually gets to be useful, he's actually really strong as the second best character on this team. Okay, that's not great. Okay, cool. It's just Thor also just dies. <laughs> like they just all just die. Everyone just dies. Okay, that should get Miss Marvel, right? No, she's just chilling on the side and stealth because she didn't get killed by the Thor, unfortunately. My Thor needed to just to just be a hair bigger, bro. That's crazy. Uh, well, this will ping there on her and do a bonus. Take her stuff off. No. Welcome back, Korg. <laughs> just, it just keeps coming back. It just doesn't stop. It's great. I love it. Let's go here. You're really supposed to save the black cat for last anyway. I would love to get rid of the stupid Miss Marvel, though. She's just chilling on the side. Yeah, finally. Okay, so now this is a real test. Can he beat it by himself? Three hits here, right? Yeah, three hits is awesome. <laughs> three hits is awesome. Three hits is awesome, dog. And the taunt. I should have I should have got her out. Instead of doing the three hits, I tried to beat the Robbie. I'm gonna get her out here though, because there's barrier doesn't matter in this matchup. Yeah, the cork like always comes back. It's really good. Oh, that's not great. I do not have any charges, obviously, because it landed. Okay. Yeah, so this is a tricky match, but Nova is showing his value. Like, I need I need Dorm in this match. If I had Dorm, I think I win this one pretty easy. I actually think I win this one really easily if I had Dorm. This one's a loss, though, but let's just go here. I actually love the three hit thing though. The three hit thing is so cool. I might be tempted to throw the next special at Robbie. Yeah, I might be tempted to throw the next one at Robbie. Hello, safeguard. Ah, oh, Korg, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. You hater. You are a hater. You are a hater. He's been watching the video so far. That's what it is. Absolute hater. Okay, Star Lord actually gets a turn for once. That's great. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. The blinds kicking in. Jesus. Trillion bleeds, though. Okay, we're gonna go here. That should uh, eliminate Miss Marvel. It did not. Okay, thank you, Thor. And we're gonna get Robbie out here too. Okay, so it looks like it works versus the non-scroll version, which is fair. Scroll's so good, right? Yeah, scroll is so damn good though. Like, scroll is crazy, bro. Three hits. Yeah, a diamond on Nova would go crazy too. A diamond on Nova would go crazy. 
buffs and an extra hit. Yeah, nice try, Apoc. I think we still need Dorm here, but it's much closer. It's much closer. Okay, yeah, there's the loss. It's much closer, though. That's fair. If I had Dorm here, I win this. That's fair. Okay. Or maybe if Apocalypse doesn't yeet my freaking um, <laughs> Korg. Korg not being able to come back kind of sucked. Let's change it up a little bit. That's why you go for her. Because I'm immediately locked. <laughs> that does not feel good. Also, she gets the turn rewind. Yeah, you you going for Robbie is a mistake. You just stay with her like I thought. Who's your target? Korg again, because the taunt. Okay. Clear it off. Nice. Hey, at least it's off again though, so it's not the worst thing, I guess. Maybe not the worst thing. You know, I just misplayed, but maybe it's salvageable, but I did just misplay. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, and I should have ability block the APOC, but stun trauma is good. I'll take it. <laughs> Not mad at that. All right. Yeah, Dorm's charges are kicking in too, and that's very useful. Thank you. And... I can get the bonus hit. Let me just go for him here. Heal. Yeah, the dorm charges are going crazy. The dorm charges are going crazy in this match. I think we win this one already. Like, Loki, I think I've already won. Because my Nova still got to revive, right? Cosmo 2, technically, but Nova. I'll get another Nova Force in this match. This is that's the type of match this one is. I'll get another Nova Force. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. You just win. You just win with Dorman here. But I'm not. I'm not sure you need the Awoken Nova for this. Or not Awoken. Excuse me. Uh, the Enhanced Nova, right? I don't know that you need that. Should have went for Black Cat. Was too busy talking. Yeah. I don't know that you need that. I don't think that you do. So we're gonna look next for like a cosmic team. It's just there's not a lot of actual cosmic teams unless somebody has nowhere on defense. I don't know that anybody does. But the nowhere defense mirror match, I think that would be a good show, but it's not, you know, the craziest thing. All right, let's run it back. Yeah, no nowheres on defense, but simply put, the team's gonna beat basically every other standard defense anyway. Let's try Sinister Six. It beats pretty much any standard defense. But, uh, yeah. The real value is just, you know, the extra basic from Nova. I like that a lot. I love that. That's so powerful. We're going to go for Auk here. Looks like they just win this matchup, too. Where's the goblin's traumas at? What did I miss with that? What happened? Is that a war offense only thing? <clears throat> Can't be, because I'm pretty sure he does it in arena. Maybe it's something to do with this being war deep, war testing, war practice. Not sure. Anyway, I'm not sure it matters. This looks like a match they, like I said, they just kind of clean up easy. Yeah, I just they just win. Okay, that's fair. I mean, the Vulture's gonna get like five turns, but yeah, no, it's over. Okay, that was quick. This one's too easy. They're a good team on offense anyway. Mm. Oh yeah, I wanted to try this one. I'm not sure they can win this matchup. Because scroll makes the whole match different, right? I don't think they win this matchup as it is. I think I think you need dorm at least. It's another one where I think you need dorm at least. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, they're doing good with all these dodges and stuff early. There you go. Now there's now the fun begins. I'm not really mad at that. It's a fine target. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. And now the fun freaking begins. He calls Squirrel into the hit. That's crazy. It's not surprising. It's just crazy. Okay, finally. I love Thor. I love Thor. I love Thor. So this is a smaller new Avenger, though. That's the that's the trade-off, though. The scroll is here, yeah, but this is a smaller new Avenger. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> scroll's gonna go for his ultimate right here. I guess we'll just go here. Oh, the scroll enough to beat me by himself is kind of like the question. It's tricky to use this here because you don't really want the positive effects. But I also want the freaking hits. <laughs> I want the hits. <laughs> so uh, we're going to wage who's the better war character here. Is that a big scroll too? It's got to be, right? Yeah. We're going to wage who's the better war character here. Nova or a scroll? Basically is what this comes down to. My money would be on Nova, but scroll is the best character in the game. So I think you're, I think it's pretty safe to take Nova. Or uh, scroll, excuse me. Especially because it's not scroll by himself. <laughs> it's scroll with buddies. Scroll with freaking buddies. Goodbye, Colson. And also, Nova keeps getting these stupid deflects, which is good, but also bad. Because scroll, right? You know, I really like scroll as a fortifier. Uh, scroll. Uh, Korg as a fortifier. But I can't lie. Him coming back constantly to drop those vulnerables is good. It's it's very good. Like if you if you, like right here, I don't have a character, but he's gonna come right back to drop vulnerables. So now it's two v one. There's that fun stuff. Welcome back again. Yeah, he just oh that's very bad. That's very bad. No 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 no. Okay cool. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh, man. That's another one where, again, like I said, dorm being in makes a difference. Since there's no nowhere on defense, let's check out Extreme. Extreme is a troublesome team to play against because the Gambit pings... The Cyclops can be annoying, but also what's really annoying is uh, is the Forge revives and stuff. So I like to go for Forge first. Let's take him out. I'm pretty sure this is an easy win, though, but I want to show it. Like I said, they're an annoying team, but at the end of the day, also, this is actually a war team. That one isn't. And they're better than most war teams, <laughs> admittedly. But this is still one of the best war teams in the game, so. They're better than other very good war teams, though, like I was saying. Like, War Dogs is, is a good war team, but they're not great, so. This won't do anything to Cyclops. And I win. Yeah, that's fair. Safeguard, buddy. If you if you have to use nowhere on this, that's a huge waste. You should not have to waste a good team like nowhere on this. It's kind of but it's tricky though, because they are one of the better teams on defense that people are using. They just don't need nowhere, I don't think. What I typically use is A Force. A Force is good too though. A Force is very, 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 very good. Last one here. Punter Cross versus Infestation. Another team, Sinister Six, just completely runs over. But um, was another team that was kind of tricky for nowhere. So let's see. Typically with this matchup, you want to just avoid big time. But I'm pretty sure you just go all in on big time in this matchup. With this team. Like, typically with other teams, you avoid big time. Well, I guess not with that Sinister Six team with, like, Lizard. Not really. But with like the Kang Bang team and stuff, you just avoid big time until the very end. But I'm pretty sure with this matchup, you just go at him completely. 
because Nova just doesn't die. So the other characters doing what they do kind of matters, but not really, right? And I win. <laughs> oh my god, infestation is just... They are like, they're good, but they're bad at the same time. It's really weird. It's really weird. But it's it's made me completely stop investing in them because they're good, but they're what it is that they're good, but they're extremely easy to counter. But at, like I said, with the extreme team, if you've got to use nowhere here, then that's a, that's a win I think for the defense. I think that's a win for the defense. So, all in all, we did a lot of testing with the team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Once again, I don't recommend this, so don't do it. But you'll if you do do it, you will get good value.